We're back to Neil Haley Show. My guest today is Paul Hollis, author of The Hollow Man and owner of Hollow Man Publishing Series and also senior publishing. Paul, how are you? We're going to talk I'm about green. now the whole thing of like the secrets behind the scenes, right? Of The Hollow Man and how you kind of came up with this. Because again, Paul, just for people to know, explain again what your role was and how you're not really the main character, but you are really the main character. Right. So, yeah, I I, I sort of was in the wrong place at the wrong time and ended up uh, um, as, a, as a red shirt guy uh, chasing terrorists around Europe. So um, what, uh, and, it's, and it's not, it's not really a James Bondy kind of a thing where I know everything. It was like I didn't know much of anything. But um, what what I felt like in in the writing process, what I what I shifted from there into the to the writing process was was the actual feeling of being there. So that's what we wanted to do is is to to make make the reader feel that they were right there with the main character on the streets of Paris or on Madrid or wherever they happen to be. And so. Uh, what that what that entailed then was was actually making coming up with something visual and sort of like writing a movie in 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 fiction format and so so what i did was i used all the the visual instincts that people have the sight the smell the smell the taste the the hearing what was going on around them so so that is what was important there also characters dialogue is uh, as real as as if you were there so so accents were were included uh whether the characters used contractions or no contractions whether whether they used uh uh, uh, uh what am i trying to think of whether they use slang or not for example uh accents uh of course uh with uh, with french and and uh, the irish were, were especially outstanding um and and actually the Spanish as well, but but mostly there. So so what I try to do is put to to tag tag the the reader along with the with the characters to to understand and see see and feel what was going on within the environment that that we were working at the time. Okay, so you know based on all that stuff, you know Paul, and I'm listening to you. Um, it's it's got to be crazy that then you took that. To make it a little bit more action packed, but there's a lot of it's true. That's the thing. You keep saying, "Well, I wasn't like James Bond because you were kind of like in, Inspector Clouseau in a way." Absolutely, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's a that's a great comparison there. Um, yeah, about eighty percent of the book is about ninety percent true because of the best I could remember things. Um, I I kind of thought a little bit about um, um, things that I couldn't actually remember and then and I just kind of gave up and I sort of wrote something down but but probably 80 to 90 percent is, is about 90 percent true um, the what isn't true what didn't really happen that I know of were the characterizations of of scenes when I was not there present so I sort of made those up because they fit into the to the sequencing of the story um and um and, and but there are very few of those where I didn't where I didn't really appear in a scene sort of thing so so yeah about 80 percent is 90 percent true something around there wow you know and and that whole thing 80 to 90 percent true is pretty uh impressive to say the least but you, the parts that weren't true, how did you create that? Kind of give me the creativity knowledge on that. Well, I, <clears throat> I sort of assumed that uh, actually I put I put those scenes in, kind of not randomly, but se sequentially along the story because I, I didn't use flashback an awful lot. So so it was kind of like what what went on with the story as as it went along. So so what I what I sort of put into those scenes was was what I needed to get to the next scene where I was at right and so and and to, to have the, the the reader understand and see what it was these guys were thinking sort of behind my back and things that I didn't quite know at the time but I, I had learned later in different and different uh, sequences of life you know sort of thing so I so I put so I kind of put them into into that sequence there of of, of where they fit into us to the story to make it a nice neat package basically and so that's the thing and what do you your fans that really love the book what do they say they love so much and you said that the, they love 
two and three even better than one. Yeah, I, I well, I think they do because they're because they're written better. You know, so the more a writer writes, the better he or she gets. It's it just as simple as that. You have to write, 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 and 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 it will it will become your own style and your and your branding if, if you're writing a series of of. Uh, of stories then then that's what you have to do there so so um uh, basically uh what what the what my fans are are are, are liking are, is the depth of characters and they especially like doc and zeta uh zeta is a very very strong female lead person and uh, and i i feel that sometimes the story is about her is it much as about me so so and fans like that because it's like not all about one one guy and kind of things. So so you have a sort of a team of of in depth, down to earth sort of people that think on their feet and and, and people like that. So so that's what it, that's what I went after. All right, best place to go is the Hollow Man Series dot com, Senior Dash Publishing dot com, and all these other places. And follow Paul on all the social media platforms. And if you want to see book number four, it's coming, right? Yes, it is. The movie's coming. More audio books are coming. Check out Paul. And if you want to publish a book today, he is the man. Appreciate it, Paul. Thank you. Thanks, Neil. You're welcome. You're watching and listening to the Neil Haley Show. We'll be back in just a moment. <laughs> 